process let's see uh, where should the page table be located so the page table is used by the main memory unit for every read and write uh, access to the memory so ideal locations for the page table is within the mmu only the page table is going to be quite larger so that the memory memory management unit is implemented as a part of processor chip and which is impossible to include a complete page table on the chip so that the page table is kept in the main memory a copy of a, a small portion of the page table can be accommodated within the main memory unit so a portion of page table uh, entry uh, that corresponds to the most recently accessed pages are going to be kept in the memory management unit what is a translation look aside buffer a small uh, catch called as a translation look aside buffer which is included in the main memory unit which holds a page table entry of the most recently accessed pages a catch memory holds most recent accessed blocks from the main memory and the operation of this TLB and the page table in the main memory is similar to the top operation of the catch on the main memory. The page table entry from a page includes addresses of the page frame where the page uh, resides in the main memory along with some control bits. In addition to the uh, above, uh, each page uh, the TLB must hold the virtual uh, page number for the each pages such a way it's going to be get present over there so the diagram which is going to be shows that the virtual address space consisting of a virtual page and the offset and if the page number control bits and the frame which are going to be entered in the tlbs uh, based on the uh, based on the flow chart if the case is going to be yes the heat will be get arise if the case is going to be no then miss will be get provided over there so that the page number offsets are going to be entered in this particular look aside buffer table so this associative mapping is going to be made over there in the tlb the higher order bits of the virtual address generated by the processor selects the virtual page or uh, virtual page and uh, the these bits are compared to the virtual page number in the tlb if there is a match a hit occurs and the corresponding address of the page is going to be read uh, if there is no match, a match will a miss will occur and the page table within the memory must be consulted. A set associative mapping TLBs are found in the commercial processes. Let's see about the next one. Uh, when the page fault occurs. Page fault occurs when a program generates an access uh, request to a page that it is not in the memory. When uh, memory manage unit detects a fault page, the memory man management unit asks the OS to generate an interrupt. The OS suspends the execution of the task that caused the page fault and being executed on another task whose page mem pages are in the memory. When the task resumes the interrupted instruction must continue for the point of the interruption. If a new page is brought from the disk when memory is full, a disk must replace one of the resident page. In this case, the LRU algorithm is going to be used to remove the least referenced page from the memory. A modified page has to be written back to the disk before it is removed from the memory. In this case, a write-through protocol is going to get used over there. How to keep the entries of the TLB coherent with the content of the page table in the main memory? An operating system may change the content of the page table in the main memory simultaneously. It must also invalidate the corresponding entries in the TLB. A control bit is provided in the TLB is used to invalidate the entry. If an entry is invalidated, then the TLB gets the information for the entry table of the page table, which follows the same process that it would allow or follow it if the entry is not found in the TLB or if a case of a miss occurs. Uh, what happens when or uh, what happens if a program generates an access to a page that is not in the main memory? In this case, a page fault is set to occur. Whole page must be brought into the main memory from the disk before the execution of the uh, execution can proceed. So upon uh, detection of uh, page fault by the memory management unit, uh, uh, the memory management unit asks the operating system to 
improvement by raising an exception or processing of the active task which caused the page fault is interrupted and which is going to be controlling is going to be transferred to the operating system then the operating system copies the request page from the secondary storage to the main memory on the pages are copied control is going to be written back to the task where it was interrupted a servicing of a page fault requires transferring the requested page from secondary storage to the main memory this transfer may incur a long delay while this page is going to be being transferred the operating system may suspend the execution of the task that caused the uh, page fault uh, and, and being execution of another task whose pages are there in the main memory uh, which enables the efficient uh, use of the processor let's see the next one how to ensure that the interrupted task can continue correctly when it resumes execution there are two possibilities are there execution of the interrupted task must contain from the point where it was interrupted and the interrupt uh, the instruction must be restarted so which specifies an option is followed depends on the design of the processor when a new page is to be brought into the main memory from the secondary storage the main memory may be full uh, some pages from the main memory must be replaced within the new page how to choose which page is going to be replaced this is similar to the replacement that occurs in the cache memory is going to be full the principle of locality of reference can also be used here a replacement strategy similar to the top lru can be applied since the page size of the main memory is going to be relatively larger compared to a cache a relative large amount of program and the data can be held in the main memory which also minimize the frequency of transfer between the secondary storage and the main memory a page may be modified during its residency in the main memory during this uh, replacement so when should the page be written back to the secondary storage uh, we encounter a similar problem in the context of cache and a main memory write through protocol and the write back protocol so the write through protocol cannot be used since it will incur a long delay each time a small amount of data is going to be written to the disk hence a write back protocol is going to be used over there to do this operation coming to the benefits of using a virtual memory uh, its ability to handle uh, twice as many addresses as main uh, as main memory and which frees an applications for, from managing a memory and saves users from having to add memory modules when ram space runs out uh, the virtual memories increased the security because of the memory isolation and uh, multiple large applications can be run simultaneously over there and which allocates a memory uh, is relatively cheaper and the virtual memory does not need any external fragmentation and which is going to be an effective uh, cpu use is going to be made over there and the virtual memory data can be moved automatically and uh, the pages in this original process can be shared during a uh, fork system call these are the benefits of the virtual memory uh, coming to the limitations of this virtual memory the use of virtual memory has its trade off particularly with speed it generally better to have a much physical memory as possible so program works directly from the ram or physical memory so the use of virtual memory slows a computer because data must be mapped between virtual and physical memory which requires extra hardware support for the address translation so the size of the virtual storage is limited by the amount of storage uh, secondary storage as well as the addressing scheme with the computer system and the trashing can happen if the amount of ram is too small uh, which will make the computer performance maybe get slower so that's a slower performance may be possible and also it may take time to switch between the application using the virtual memory so the time to switch is going to be a disadvantage of this particular virtual memory